All right, everybody, at Carter Pro here, starting with a new video for you. I have here again the Amazon Fire Phone. I'm going to go over on this phone um, basically what's inside. Uh, so I did get started here. I have my cell phone repair kit. But I'll try to link for you guys in the description below if you want to get one like it. It was pretty cheap. This one was only about $8. And then um, my actual phone that I'm taking apart here, the Amazon Fire Phone. So what I had to do right away to take this apart is there was two screws on the bottom. I previously took those out. Those are the only two screws I had to take out. Then of course I had to take out the SIM card on the side of the phone. And that's the only thing that was connecting the top of the phone to the actual display. So then if I open that up, that's what's going to be inside the phone here on the Amazon Fire Phone. So what I want to show you guys that was cool right away once I open this up. Now at first I thought it was kind of interesting that they actually have electrical, electrical components on the back of the phone. So if you were ever to try to um, turn this back into them, or if you broke the back right side, that's still going to turn on and off the display without the back even being connected. Just through that one kind of riveting cable right there. And then if you um, disconnect that cable, take that apart, that's going to separate the back and the front of the phone completely. Now even with the back and the front separated, um, let's cancel. The front of the phone still works, you just don't have your power button. So all this kind of stuff still works on the phone. Now I want to see how much of the phone I can actually take apart with this um, feature still working. So we'll turn the phone over and we'll just keep going, taking apart uh, the Amazon Fire Phone. So the next thing I want to have to do is, is a few um, screws I have to take apart. So I'll open this up. There's the screws, two silver screws here and here. I'm going to have to try to keep this all organized so I can see if I can maybe put this back together. This is really kind of just a project for me um, to see if I can learn to take apart and put together phones. So now looking at the phone, I feel like I should be able to take a few more things apart. So, so a lot of this stuff just unattaches. So these cables right here should just unattach. You just pull them back. I'm going to break something probably, but this whole piece comes back. I'm going to look at this for a second. right about there and you can see that moves around a little bit so that's optical image stabilization when you look at the camera on the back of this phone i disconnected a few more cables and interestingly enough well, the phone is still working even with all those cables that are just disconnected right here taken off of the phone i'm going to look at this a little bit more and see if i can get this taken apart any further um by myself and take this apart a little bit more. So this goes on the side. One thing I actually find interesting that I might as well mention now is the battery takes up a lot of this phone. So this one was actually built a pretty big battery. Now I don't know if I want to try and take the battery out. Um, these batteries will explode or overheat or get destroyed if I try to take it out. They really glue it in there. So you can see, if I try to take it out, I can't even do it. I would need a special tool to try that. Unless, this actually might be to help take the battery out. So let me try to do that. I'm working my way in. I don't think that's helping me much at all. The battery actually needs to be able to take, be taken apart um, or taken out in order for these pieces to come out of here and get from underneath the motherboard. So I'm going to keep working on this and see if I can get any farther for you guys. Otherwise I'll end up just putting it back together, but we'll wait another second here and see where I can get. Alright guys, it's taking out the battery and I got a little bit of smoke coming out of it. I'm going to open the window to get a little ventilation. So 
I just opened the window right next to me from outside. I'm going to wait a second here. Obviously, it says on the battery, um, there's a warning, burning, or there's potential for fire or burning. Do not um, disassemble, puncture, crush, or heat, or, excuse me, heat or burn. Obviously, I'm probably doing that while I'm trying to take out the battery. All right, guys, this is smelling a little awkward. I'm going to come back to you if I get this battery off. In my life, but I finally did get the battery out. Obviously, all this sticky um, adhesive, you're supposed to be able to pull out from under the battery and it should just fall out. Um, it doesn't work very well. I've seen other people try to take these apart as well. Um, I don't know, this stuff just doesn't work that good. But anyways, I took it apart, so now we're this far into the foam. Um, I don't know if we're going to get any farther in. I pretty much disconnected everything you can, a lot of it is really um they obviously don't want you to go in this one but i'm going to keep trying for you guys to see if we can get a little bit farther here so i think i just take that apart i ruined some connectors but I got the basically most of the motherboard. I should take that out. I can set this aside. I'm gonna go. Look. I think this is it. This is as far as we've gotten inside of the Samsung Fire Phone. Let me guys take a look at that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It took me a while to get into this thing. Um, definitely not designed to take apart at all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like it, just let me know. Again, this is just a fun project for me to see if I could even take apart a smartphone. Something I've never tried before. But yeah, if you like this video, let me know. And I'll see you in the next one.